Rise Josh on the beat. Without me, without me, hey, hey, hey. I know a lot of y'all can relate to this kind of stuff. Come on. Every day, we are just making our way. But you know how we feel when the leaf is on peel. My homies, every night, we are making it right. We got to roll it up tight every time we ignite. My homies, don't spark the blunt without me. Don't spark the blunt without me. For real, y'all, please don't doubt me. Don't spark the blunt without me. Out me. Don't spark the blunt without me. I'm asking you to don't spark the blunt without me. Please wait for me before y'all get cloudy. Don't spark the blunt without me. Out me. We had a beer, but there is no need to fear. There is a liquor store near. Damn right. Just don't spark that till I'm right back here. Right. My homies, I'll be right back. Just take a nug from my sack. Don't gotta leave it intact. Just wait for me before you spark that. My homies, don't spark, spark the blunt without, without me. me. Don't spark the blunt without me. For real, y'all, please don't doubt me. Don't spark the blunt. Don't spark the blunt now. Don't spark the blunt without me. Out me. Don't spark the blunt without me. Out me. Please wait for me before y'all get cloudy. Don't no spark the blunt without me, out me. It's 11.20, the party is getting rowdy. My living room getting crowded. It's skewing, it's kind of dowdy. And that is when I proudly say I am heading out here for brew. And when I come back through, let's make it cloudy with you. Please pass sham the materials. He could twist the bleeds while I cruise for some brews up in my vehicle. Be timing it. I am not making no promises. The blunt I smoke, the blunt that I speak is like a hominin. Kush and a dominant haze from where Obama lived. The crew I'm rhyming with, we want to be getting that promise, but for now I'm pulling up and I cannot wait to puff a bleasy up in the easy with homies, so fill a cup, turn up, approaching midnight, it's louder, so do not doubt it, sound ordinance, we flouting, the homies is twisting, shouting, I'm thankful for this moment of happy in which you found me, I'm back with the lighter, don't smoke on that blunt without me, don't spark that blunt without me, don't spark that blunt without me, out me, for real y'all, please don't, don't doubt me. me. Don't spark the blunt with don't spark the blunt now don't spark the blunt without me I'm asking ya don't spark the blunt without me please wait for me before y'all get cloudy don't spark the blunt without me out me don't you spark on that blunt without me Without me, <laughs> www.oghuskyradio.com broadcasting live from the east side of Los Angeles. S not sparking the blunt without you. Yeah. What up, man? Go ahead and introduce yourselves. What we got up in the spot? This is Mr. Sham from the West Coast Avengers. I'm tangent to Wiggy Woo, West Coast Avengers crew. Uh, I'm pretty sure y'all know about OG Husky Radio, man. We we're not your typical interviews, and we we don't like let shit slide and not yeah. get into shit straight up. So. Um, <laughs> West Coast Avengers to me is Tony the Schizo, Orko Elohim, Orko Elohim, and Jism High Definition. They're West Coast Avengers, and I want to say like 2008, 2009, maybe, and I may be wrong, but are you guys part of that West Coast Avengers? No, no, we've gotten Jism's no. blessing, but we are not part of that yeah, same group. We're, yeah, we're. No. Oh, so, so you are aware of the name, of yeah, course. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. We've been given the blessing from Jism, uh, you know, even Abrud and Joaquin Daniels and a few other people in the Blodian, you know, circles have kind of inducted us. You know, we're invitees to Abrud's 16 bar rap competitions. I participate in those and stuff. So yeah, you be battling too, yeah, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, I just won the uh, who got who got next uh, showcase six two six contest last week. Uh, against the reigning champion, the good homie uh, Cam Archer, also from the IE from San Bernardino. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, go ahead and introduce yourselves individually, man. I mean, I didn't find, I'm already just fucking oh, throwing questions and shit. <laughs> I'm just um, Mr. Sham. What is and it? I'm Tangent. What, 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 why Mr. Sham? What's a sham? The sham, it comes from an old nickname. Um, when I was younger, I had a homie that used to call me uh, Baby Sham because I was like really lucky when I played sports and basketball. I'd, like, if it was an easy shot, I'd miss it. But if it was, like, the most ugliest, hardest shot, like, I'd make it. Same with, like, catches. I caught the catches that, like, you wouldn't expect someone to catch. So he called me, like, Baby Sham for, like, Baby Shamrock. And as I got older, I dropped the baby and just kept the sham. 
And, and what, then what? Okay. I wanted to add a mister on it. Just uh, I like the way. Because <laughs> you weren't little Sham yeah. anymore. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Put some respect on it. <laughs> yeah. And what, what is a tangent? Uh, tangent, because uh, people always say I go off on tangents. You know, as you know from the 20 minutes we've hung out, you know, I, I, I could talk yeah, forever. Good, good conversation. Thank it's you. I appreciate <laughs> that. Uh, but yeah, I go off on tangents, and I wanted to, you know, I, I grew up on corrupt, so I kind of wanted to misspell a cool word, you know, so T A N J I N T, you know. Um, what are you guys avenging then, man? What, what, why, why West Coast Avengers, man? Uh, it's kind of avenging the West Coast. It kind of came from. What is it? Uh, the comic book background. We were into comics at the time, and we, yeah, we felt like the West Coast, like, yeah, needed some avenging. It needed to be uh, put back in the forefront. What, what of year though, culture. too? Because I don't want to be like these cats just started last week, and they're oh. saying there ain't no West Coast holding it down. We've Arden. been, uh, we've been a group since '07. We've been somewhat active since '09, '10, and we've been very active since 2014. Uh, so the other side, w- would you say is like hippie culture? I mean. Oh, yeah. Not just because you guys both came in here with long hair, your niece telling a bunch of ball headed motherfuckers and shit, <laughs> but is it like the hippie culture? Like, is that what you guys embrace? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we were from the Inland Empire, so for us, it was as a teens, you know, when, when, when we came together as, as homies, even, we were anxious to like find a different culture than the suburban culture of Cucamonga and Inland Empire and the suburbs. Like, growing, being older now, I appreciate the working class ethos of that area, and we yeah. all do. But back then, we wanted to escape it. We wanted to go to Long Beach, and we wanted to be doing hippie shit in San Francisco. And I, uh, but know. here's a, here's another thing I'm gonna, th- I'm gonna throw out there though. But but hip hop started in the projects, man. And, you know, Cool Herc, and it represents represents the urban plight and the inner city struggle yeah. now you guys are saying like nah but you ain't representing the nerds the comic con the uh-huh. i so. mean like it's 2017 like hip-hop is everywhere hip-hop right. is in like all aspects of every culture worldwide like it's yeah. it's everyone's individual experience it's how you express yourself it's become a tool so it's not necessarily then hip-hop is not strictly a street culture I think right. it. I think yeah. It will always have that street value. I think. Yeah. I'll do okay. that, that. Yeah. It always have that edge to it and stuff. And yeah. I mean, that's a balance to strike. You do always have to kind of pay respect to the cultural heritage. It comes from people of color in a lot of ways. It comes from uh, poverty. It comes from all these things. Yeah. You have to respect that while also being realistic about the fact that poetry over syncopated rhythm is going to be like a universal concept, you know, that's going to be applied to a lot of things. W- one of the things you guys told me off there is just like, nah, we're just trying to link up with like-minded individuals. And right. I think that's where the hip-hop connection comes from because, like, right. I could spit yeah. a rhyme about my quote-unquote struggle or my good time and like someone out there will relate to it i think when you guys told me that yeah, yeah. Um, but content lyrically wh- what are you guys rapping about then i mean we're uh i think we t- actually talk about our real lives of like we're hanging out with our friends we're blazing we're in the ie traversing from the ie to long beach to the places that we like to go uh like being friendly and trying to connect with people like we really are open sensitive kind of dudes and that's kind of one of the things that like was that we were avenging too like when we first started i didn't feel like there was much room for vulnerability now wait but you know what now that i think about it though is it like you're saying like comic books and, and you know what right. I mean and that type of shit. Okay, not that type of shit, but I'm just saying then. But then if you're representing the hippie culture, the hippies mad political. So are you guys political rappers? Uh, yeah. Because oh, are, 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 are is that not is that like a, a misconception that hippies are like strictly political because they're like anti everything? You know? I wish more hippies were more political you know, because oh. I think you know, <laughs> because we should be imposing our vision of peace, you know, upon yeah. organized structures. But you can't you know? impose it because that, that's against the hippie culture, dog. Right. Everything I guess I only represent. say that because the stakes are so high and it's so dire now. It's like maybe we should be a little more imposing. You know? <laughs> but so, so are you guys political in that sense because of the hippie side of it? Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily the hippie side of it, but I think we're d- it, we definitely have a political aspect to us. And I think stuff, as Californians, but, yeah. as Californians, we feel like for how huge California is, for how important we are to the national economy and the national culture, that like we should be listened to more as far as our progressive values. Uh, and that's starting to spread with things like cannabis and even some criminal justice reform stuff. Like people are starting to live to California. Just for the takes future. a while, right? It yeah. just takes, takes too long, while, you know. Yeah. Um, so then you guys did vote for Trump, right? To make America great again? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the fuck? I mean, y- y'all nah. about change and shit, dog. No? <laughs> <laughs> That's not change. That's going back, dog. And That's why I make I'm it great to towards, again. Yeah. There was nothing great, only for, a, like, a few. A few. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fuck, I thought I thought. So then, so then it, should, it, should, should hip-hop be political or, or entertaining? 
I think it should be both. <laughs> yeah. I think it, sh it should be political if it's informed, you know? Like, yeah. if, you've, if you're if you a hip-hop artist and you've actually engaged in your community, you see what kids in your area are going through, you know what the working-class people in your area are going through, then hell yeah, I want to hear from you. I you was know? talking to you guys off there, and you guys actually do hippie shit. Like, yeah. you guys actually went out... Uh, to the middle of nowhere, hiked and what is it called? Like a commune or what the fuck? Where a you sustainable live? village. Substa yeah. yeah, sustainable village. We only see that shit like on Vice. Like Love ain't nobody. Home in yeah, the, in yeah. the hood, we call that the East Side. <laughs> 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 but because you guys have experienced that, give me like a dope ass conspiracy theory. I know you guys are up on some dope shit, dog. Like break well, it down, fool. Well, I know you got I some mean, good we'll shit. Tell you, we'll, okay, we told him about a comic book called The Invisibles, right? And there's a story in The Invisibles where these bunch of countercultural freedom fighters go into an underground bunker in New Mexico and find giant vats of the cure for AIDS. You know, uh, and then they get uh, sicked on them these monsters that are like the inbred cousins of the British royal family and who've been trying to maintain like King Arthur's blood and all that kind of shit for like hundreds and hundreds of years. So it's like, you know, we'll read comics and get into some crazy so shit. So you're telling you know? me that comic books are controlled by the Illuminati. Is that what you guys... That's the theory you guys have right uh, now? Actually, no. The guy who makes these comics is a Scottish magician oh. uh, who who does, like, sigils. Uh, he creates, like, logos and symbols and prays over them and masturbates to them and uh, gives them his psychic energy. And what's his blood lineage? And, uh, oh, shit. I, I, I don't know. He's probably, he's some poor dude from Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, but he's written... Uh, in the later years, he wrote X-Men and Batman, so he got to put those crazy magic symbols in the bigger comic books and stuff, too. So, so always... La last work. question, because we could fucking go all day. Yeah. But yeah. like <laughs> symbolism, so then a symbol, does it really mean something or only as much as people give it power? What is? Ooh, I think it's the, the, the power you put into it and stuff like that. Like in... The, even to come, come back to the Morrison stuff, and like he, yeah. that's kind of what his magic is talking about. At least chaos magic is the power of using symbols, like the McDonald's M. When someone sees that, everybody knows what that symbol is. But everybody what is knows it really? That that, or it, the that bombers, is, or the graffiti yeah, artists. It's same, the same thing. It's the it's same a, thing. To spread your image, to spread your likeness, it's to put energy into your image and likeness and help put it in the world. And spread yeah, it, you know, put your ideas out there. And then when you simplify it into just like, yeah, like a bomb or a piece and stuff like that, like so it, either it's a magician. more people can get it just from just looking at it. And it so goes, then, so then, yeah. what are, what do those double arches really represent? That the gates to hell. But whether you are McDonald's or whether you're whether you're a McDonald's or whether you're a graffiti artist, uh, you're casting a spell when you create that image and put it out into the world. WestCoastAvengers.com. WestCoastAvengers.com. Uh, what are the albums? Where, where can we cop all the stuff? What let us know? I mean, well, obviously, find it there, but what are the projects that you guys have so far? It's on every. We have a, two albums: West Coast Avengers and The Inland Empire Strikes Back. They're out on iTunes, on Spotify, Tidal, Google Play, as well as our website, WestCoastAvengers.com. They're on SoundCloud. They're on Bandcamp. They're on everything you can get music on. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. they're on everything, and, and the uh, website has like links to all every. All our producers' stuff. individual stuff, my individual stuff, Tristan's individual so stuff. So then like. West Coast Avengers is a gang, more like a gang than it is a group. Oh, we thing. know. There's two albums of West Coast Avengers with me and him on the vocals and our various beat makers. Oh, so it's not just the straight, just one beat. It's different. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We, we have, have like three beat makers and two MCs. Okay. We actually were really blessed in that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the last track you guys are going to perform for us right now? Uh, Twitter paint. Twitter it's page. the last single from our second album, In the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, the second got, single from that one. We got a music video for it up on Twitter. Uh, yep, yep, you can check uh, that YouTube. out on YouTube.com. Yeah. DJ West Top Rank Live every Thursday night, OGSQ Radio. Dipping down the interstate, can't try to imitate, we do it in a different way, don't you remember? We a little better than them regular competitors, they'll never be cleverer than West Coast adventurers obliterating Twitter pay. Can't try to imitate, cause we intend to innovate, don't you remember? We a little better than them regular contenders, the West Coast Avengers. 25th century wizardry energy on green, planetary clean enterprise, into the age of the wise, infinity eyes. Surprise, we some new musical mutants, like cannabis, cannibals, fluent animals, flashing our fangs and doing our thing. Until the last horns rang So in the meantime Listen to your angels and devils saying there's, There's no, no other, other way, way to sell it. it. We some psychedelic relics with telekinetic synthetics fighting the apathetic rhetoric of cybernetic trolls. Are we some digital grims? A cutting blunts and blowing nose. A summer nice trolls blow to the backdrop of ghost groves growing track homes like grapes dying on the vine. Time spent looking for the whimsical best girls with that chemical X. A puffing on that power. 
on that herbal flowers Sex like summer showers I was burned like paper windows Paper and flows Sell shows, get dough No time for dimes when you're pushing quarters Chaos kids living life to the new order Borderline to the interstate West Coast Avengers burning bubble while we innovate West Coast Avengers burning bubble while we innovate we got blunts to incinerate Dipping down the interstate And try to imitate we do it in a different way Don't you remember? We a little better than the regular competitors You'll never be cleverer than West Coast Adventurers Obliterating Twitter pay Can't try to imitate cause we intend to innovate Don't you remember? We a little better than them regular contenders The West Coast Avengers Man, why is everything such a bitch? You know we've all had enough of this the world got me feeling suckerish. Did Jesus really have, have to, to go through, through all that, that suffering? suffering? If he could do all of that, then what's up with him? In this big sea, I could be just another fish. Unless I can throw out and find it talking and let my thunder hit. Everybody knows that Wiki Woo was on some other shit. Going off on tangents, they just can't stand it. Try to reprimand him, but they don't understand him. The real two-gun kid, because I got my top and my bottom lip. And the line at the bottom is, I don't want no problems. I'm trying to keep it happy. Pi respect my continuity. All the way to January, can you carry the weight? Anticipate the subtle and fit. Gold wins the hate. Oh, all we demonstrate because we got blunts to incinerate. Dipping down the interstate. Can't try, try to imitate. We do it in a different way. Don't, don't you remember? We a little better than the regular competitors. You'll never be cleverer than West Coast adventurers obliterating Twitter bait. Can't try to imitate because we intend to innovate. Don't you remember? We a little better than them regular contenders. The West Coast Avengers. Kookabunga, Kawabunga, hunger for that beach. Hunger for that cheat. Shot up in our reach. We the new guys we beseech as we breach fences and padlocks to get back to the old school kind of like. Matlock. All rise, for your honor, Shamrock's courts now in session, transgression, respect the stash like Tom Selleck. Uh, and you know we burning on a journey with them psychedelic pellets, you can tell, tell it's a, a new day to develop, envelop the sham and Wu way. To save a pissed off nations like our middle name was Hussein. Who came Blame and turned the money down? We got the tight college dancing in the shower because we running hot. hot. Trying to share them funny thoughts on every time. <laughs> Every time we dip from the spot, keep it clean because we everything they not. And we got blunts to incinerate, dipping down the interstate. Can't try to imitate, we do it in a different way. Don't you remember? We a little better than them regular competitors. They'll never be cleverer than West Coast adventurers obliterating Twitter bait. Can't try to imitate because we intend to innovate. Don't you remember? We a little better than them regular contenders, the West Coast Avengers. Thanks so much. Westcoastavengers.com. OG Husky Radio, thank you guys for coming through. Thank you, man. You already know. Stay posted. More interviews to come. DJ Top Rank live.